These are the old rubbers from the radius arm, which we're replacing. Okay, here I am putting it on. It's a little stiff. Use some of this synthetic wax that you use to pull cables through conduit and put that on and that that worked well. Next is this spacer piece. And then the uh, metal bracket. After fighting with it, I got the driver's side bushings off radius arm. Wow. One thing I never knew was that <clears throat> pickup bed theft is an epidemic almost as bad as... Uh, the catalytic converters. So, it's one way to do it is, is this will slow them down a little bit. At least they can't come by and just lift it off in two seconds. They'd have to take this off. Okay, which they don't like to do that, waste time. In any case, what I did was parked in backwards. So, it's not so easy. I'll fix up the radius rod end where the bushings go on that end with some POR15 after wire brushing it a bit. And then we'll put these in. Actually, the ones I took out weren't too bad, but the rubber was worn through in a couple of spots. This is the old versus the new style. Basically, the two pieces on the new one are identical, instead of being a long one and a short one. Both of them fit into the same bracket. Which that end, both of those fit into there and the others fit on the other side. Okay, well I'm calling it quits for tonight because uh, it's awful wet out there. Hopefully drier in the morning to continue. Okay, it's the aftermath. We're done. You need a one-in-one eighth inch socket for the big nut um, five eighths for the three bolts that hold the piece together and ratchets maybe a three quarter inch wrench and There's the big inch, one and one eighth inch. And you may have a little difficulty getting those three lined up. And you need to use the jack under various spots on the arm to get it into position. Anyhow, that's tightened up. And the one on the other side as well. So that's not going anywhere and it's urethane instead of rubber, so looking pretty good. And there are the old ones for future use on maybe one of the older vans that we're not really using uh, to make sure it's at least hooked up so it's mobile. 
everything's back to normal now except that the suspension should be tighter.